good morning to all of you today we will go for unit number 4 that is a memory management then different types of algorithms for page replacement that we will study so what is actually memory management and what are the different types of algorithm so virtual memory management background then demand paging demand segmentation page consideration and page replacement algorithms and virtual memory policies that we have to study so already we have finished that is a background demand paging then demand segmentation and paging consideration now we will go for the page replacement algorithms so here what is actually page replacement algorithm once lowest page for read so what happens actually the when you are you want to access any program so in that the program will be stored on the secondary memory from the secondary we call to the primary memory and then it will execute the resources are allocated processor is allocated and then it will execute so your program or the job will be stored in the forms of pages so we cannot bring all the jobs in a primary memory so we are calling the pages so the page fault should be less cpu utilization should be more one lowest page fault rate evaluate algorithm by running it on a particular string of memory reference and computing the number of page fault and page replacement on that string so in all our examples we will use the few recurring reference say string so graph for page fault and number of frames so what happens so number of page fault number of frame so whenever the number of frames are less number of page fault will increase so if the number of frames are more number of page fault goes on decreasing so we can see here if the frame size is 6 then the number of page fault will be 4 but if the frame size is 1 the number of page fault will be 14 or 15 we can say so this is what the graph in which page fault versus number of frames are there okay then first algorithm is a fifo first in first out in this page replacement first in first out three page frames allocated to the process as a circular buffer when the buffer is full the oldest page will be replaced that is hence first in first out so which are page was first inserted into the frame that will be removed from the frame when the frame get full the frequently used page is often the oldest so it is will be repeat play the page out by the fifo it is simple to implement requires only a pointer that circles to a page frame of that process so this is a example of fifo page replacement so we can see here so this is our reference string That is seven zero one two zero three zero four two three zero three two one two zero one seven zero one. So this is our reference string, and this is a frame. So frame size is how much? It is three one two and three hour is our frame size. Now in FIFO, first in first out. So which string will uh, uh, reference string from that? It, seven will be. So first of all, the frame is empty. So page fault is one. Initial the page fault will be here one now seven so seven is not there in the initial page fault so seven one so it is a page fault one so one is not available in our frame so page frame so page fault will be one then referencing is next is your zero so zero is not available in our refer our page frame so we are inserted zero number of page fault will be two then next is your one so one is not available in our frame so we will insert one so page fault occurs so number of page fault will be here three then next reference string it is your two now yes we can see your frame is full now we have to replace the page from this frame so which page we have to replace that is a using fifo first page which was enter into the frame so which was enter here seven so seven will be replaced by two because two is not available in your frame so page fault occurs so total number of page faults are four then next is your zero so zero is already available so here no page fault occurs here no page fault will occur then next is your three 
three is not available in our frame, so page fault occurs. So we we'll replace which one? Already we have replaced seven. Now next in what you are zero. So we we'll replace zero with three. Number of page faults are four. Then next is your again zero. So zero is not there in our string, so page fault occurs. So what we we'll replace here? One. First in first house policy. So zero is replaced by one page fault occurs. So total number of page fault in here is six. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Here the page fault has not occurred. Then next one is your four. So four is not in our frame, so there is a page fault. So number of page fault will be here seven. So we replace here four because here now two is last means your first in and it will be out here. These are current is zero. So here we replace two with four. Then Next is your two, so two is not available in our frame. So again, we are having the page fault. So we replace three. First in, first out policy. So replace three by two. Then next is your three. So three is not available in our frame. So this again page fault. So we replace our zero here. So three will be replaced by a zero is replaced by three. Then page fault occurs. So total number of page fault up to here is nine. Then again zero, so zero is not available in our frame. So again we replace the first in. So which was the first in here now? Four. From four to three, four, four was first in. So it will be first out. So here is replace four with zero. Now next is your three. Three is available, so no page four. Two, two is available, so 